so if you're thinking that maybe i'm making this video and i'm just telling you guys a whole lot of lies and maybe information that i heard from someone i'm just quickly going to show you my nipple ring but i'm not giving anybody a platform to body shame me or to throw any negative comments so just take a little peek guys let me just bring my camera down Are you ready? So I'm just gonna show you guys a little. Real hot girl shit. Alright guys, so I have right here my notebook so i wrote down everything that i'm going to share with you guys today because i definitely don't want to forget anything or leave any crucial information out so guys let's talk about where to actually get your nipples pierced so my suggestion is that okay oh, someone is gossiping about me uh, Alright guys, as I was saying, let's talk about where to get pierced. My suggestion is that you go to a professional. Most of the time, it'll be the guys from a tattoo parlor because that's definitely where I got my nipples pierced. So you should also just check out your Instagram, your Facebook, any social media platform as well as your Google and also check out the reviews because I'd like to believe that everybody wants to go to a place that is trusted by other customers and it is safe because I don't think anybody wants to get their nipples botched right now i'm going to tell you about the whole nipple piercing experience so i took a friend of mine because obviously i wanted someone to like video record it's a pity guys i lost all of that footage but anyway we drove to the tattoo parlor we got in we, was, we sat down everybody was smoking hardly everybody was chill someone was getting their ink done and then the obviously the guy that does uh piercings approaches me because when you got there they asked us what you wanted to do we told them that you wanted to get a piercing so he asked me where i told him i want to get both of my nipples pierced he came by with some nipple rings he showed me and then i picked the pair that i liked so he showed me to a little room that has a bed so he laid me down on the bed and then i put my top probably up to there yeah Ooh, but I so I put um, my top just above my nipples and then he cleaned out my nipples with a disinfectant and then he sterilized all of his equipment and sterilized the nipple rings as well. Now, he grabbed his needle and I asked him, I'm like, Abuti, are you going to use a numbing cream? He's like, hey sister, ploma, chila hanya, muskawar. And I'm like, okay. So guys, he grabs the needle there was a little gathering like a little clamp thingy that was clamping my nipple so that it doesn't i it doesn't go back inside i don't know how to explain this guys like english george is out the window so he takes the needle and then he pierced through my nipple guys i was screaming it was so painful I feel like I didn't mentally prepare myself for the pain that I was feeling. And mind you, that was only the first nipple. Then he moved on to the second nipple. Guys, I couldn't handle it anymore. Like, it was so painful. So, once I was done with piercing both my nipples, he um, put uh, the, nipples ring, the nipple rings in. So, I jumped up from the bed. Get to the ski bed. And I'm jumping down from the bed like... <clears throat> and I'm looking myself in the mirror. Oh my God. These look good. I like what I see. Fine. I paid him, grabbed my friend's hand, we walk into the car, we got into the car, and then the minute I sat down in the driver's seat, guys, I felt a pain that I never knew before. And the thing is, my friend doesn't drive. My friend couldn't drive me home. I had to drop her off at her place and then drive my ass back home. If you're going to get your nipples pierced, guys, take a friend that knows how to drive. It's saying mapule. Mapule had drive. Yo, anyway, let's move on to the next point. Let's talk about the healing process, guys. Sometimes I go on the internet, I watch other people's videos, and people are saying on, on about the experience that it took two weeks for the healing process, or perhaps it took a month. Guys, 
lies. I'm honestly going to be truthful with you guys. It takes six to one year, six months to one year for your nipple piercing to heal. And within that six months, you need to make sure that you are cleaning, you're piercing, you're disinfecting, and you're taking good care of it. And there's something that you guys need to realize. The nipple is not a tissue that can be pierced like your, your ear. Because once you pierce your ear, it can become more of a, can I call it a permanent hole? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So with your nipple, if you, if you do have a tongue ring or you know someone who has a tongue ring, you do know that once you remove the tongue ring for like a few days, you actually start to feel the little hole closing up. So that will actually tell you that because the tongue is a muscle, it's not a tissue that can be pierced. All right. But we do, do but we do pierce it. Now, with the nipples, it's also the same thing. Because the tissue is so soft and so sensitive, you can't actually pierce it and then have a permanent hole. So, there's something that you need to be aware of, guys. Another thing that I'm going to share with you guys is the type of bra that you need to wear. When I first got my nipples pierced, I wasn't actually a person that needed to wear bras. But now, Matsuana <laughs> Akhudi. But if you do have um big ish or you do have breasts that need to be consoled in a bra when you go to sleep at night i would suggest that you wear something like a sports bra so that it actually holds your breasts in and then keeps them in the right direction instead of them sagging and then they're going all over the place at night when you're sleeping and then another thing if if you don't wear bras, I would suggest that you wear a tight t-shirt to avoid movement and friction on the breast, do you understand? So that's something that you need to be very careful of, guys. When it comes to taking care of your nipples, I would suggest that you do a sea salt water soak. So you just take your um, khrof salt, that's what we call it, or sea salt, and mix it with warm water, and then you just um, keep on rubbing it and applying it using a cotton bud, or perhaps um, a cotton wool on your breasts for about two to three minutes. I can just do a detailed video on my daily nipple care routine. Just let me know in the comment section down below, give me a thumbs up, and I can definitely do that for you. Because I'd like to think that if more people want to see it, it is highly requested, and I don't mind showing you guys. A friend of mine once asked me, now that you have nipple rings, are your nipples more sensitive or are they less sensitive? Guys, I would say that it depends and it, it, it's actually different from person to person. Since I got my nipples pierced, my nipples have actually been more sensitive. So if you perhaps try to rub my nipple, ooh, excuse me, give me a little coke. Once someone touches them, they feel less sensitive. But with me, the minute I feel any touching sensation or any friction, I do actually... I feel a fire in my body. <laughs> this is a question that a lot of people have been asking me. How is it having sex with your boyfriend when you have nipple rings? Guys, I'm going to put my notepad down for this. When you're having sex, be careful that your partner does not rub or grab or play with your nipples very aggressively because that can delay the healing process. Another thing, when you're doing the doggy style, like right now, obviously, like my, my camera is up to you, but I can't show you. When you're doing the doggy style, guys, man, and then your breasts are like on the sheets or on the bed, right? They, they can be that getting that movement or that friction on the bed on the sheet or maybe on the blanket that's something that you need to be very careful of so i would say in the early stages of your nipple piercings i don't know if this is possible but i would say that avoid a doggy style honestly try to avoid dog style you get get on top to you understand and control everything simple <laughs> Guys, and um, that is all. F Wait. Wait, let me grab my notepad. I think I might have forgotten something. <laughs> it's been a year since I've had my nipple rings, and to be honest, guys, this is only 
the best information that I can share for, from my experience. This is not information that I googled. This is not information that I heard from other people. This is the experience that I went through. This, this, these are the things that I went through on a daily. You need to be very careful when you have nipple rings. And another thing, how can I put this? If maybe you your breast perhaps hits against something or maybe someone kind of rubs you, in, a, in an awful way or in an aggressive way. Like how chase are something, guys, ne? Make sure that you go home and you treat your nipple so that it doesn't start to bleed out or it doesn't start to have any pus coming out. Use your disinfectant. Use your surgical spirit. Use your sea salt water, guys. It will definitely help you and keep your nipples healthy. And I'm happy to say that that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching my little video on my experience about nipple piercings. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and let us have a conversation about nipple piercings and any other piercings that is. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. My head is My head is